third part of leaf is leaf base or hypopodium now this is the leaf base or hypopodium it is the lower most part of leaf by which leaf is joined to the node of stem it protects the young axillary bud now there are some variations in the leaf base now leaf base is usually indistinguishable from petiole but it may be swollen as in legumes and in this case it is termed as pulvinous so if the leaf base is swollen then it will be termed as pulvinous now there are some differences between the pulvinous and the petioles if petiole and pulvinous are compared then we can say that petiole is cylindrical by pulvinous is swollen petiole is stalk of leaf while pulvinous is base of leaf petiole lifts the leaf blade above the stem so that it can get good exposure of light while the pulvinous helps in sleep and shock movements so these are the points of comparison between a petiole and a pulvinous now leaf base leaf base may be broadened to enclose the stem this type of leaf base is known as and she thing
leaf base. And this ensheathing leaf base may be of two types. If the stem is enclosed completely, then it is termed as Amplexicon, while if the stem is enclosed partially, it is termed as semi amplexicon. The examples include grasses and the wheat, while semi amplexicol includes buttercup. Other parts of leaf are stipules. So, stipules are basically the leaf-like paired outgrowths born on either side of leaf base in many angiosperms. It is often leaf-like. If a stipule is present, the leaf is said to be stipulate, while if a stipule is absent, the leaf is said to be X stipulate. So these are the various parts of leaf. Thanks for watching this video.